try not to break it. All right. I'm guessing that when we come back this way, we're going to have to fight some enemies because there was a tree. Another sign from I'll take whatever you manage to sell it from it, though. That's a cool train. symbol. Is there a catch to this? Usually there's a catch. I guess not. Hey, he works for me. Yet another sleeping beast. The handiwork of Alvi Stonefoot. Oh yeah, is there a troll here? Blood Blood Dogger. Stein. Blood Dogger Stein? Casualty 78 Dwarven 3 other. Prison location Midgard. Date of release? Never. Unless the witches of Vanaheim come up with a potion that turns aggression into something godlier. Even if you come into possession of a rousing relic, don't use it unless you're reaching for a fight. Imprisonment overseen by AS, as in one letter away from what you can kiss if you keep making me carve reports into these tablets. <laughs> Ah, there you are. Gotta find those rousing stones, I guess. Oh, no. I don't go, can't go up there just yet. Ah, crap. <laughs> Sad to see Seagrin's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Mamiya, if you want to take a tour of her kingdom, I Oh, she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yeah, there certainly are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let's hope that we don't find out those things were secret. Maybe she's got a pretty squeaky clean record, all things considered. Right, right, Mimir, right? Like, no, no way. She's got a really dark history. Yes, we'll find out. Okay, that list the crane, but I don't want that right now. I figured. Silver tier anger management. Chest punched. All these carpenters thinking they're all fancy with their fancy chest, with their fancy wood, and their fancy treasures inside. You know what I say. Punch the shit out of that chest. <laughs> How the hell do I get down there? Over here? Ah! Huh? I wanna go... over... But fine. It's something for later. More than that, but yeah, sure. Oh, look how much bifrost damage she did. Down. 
Yeesh. Looks like we'll drop down from there later. That's ah, got it. Scorch sweep one complete. Oh, hey, look at this. We got a gold. Oh, it was legit complete. Thought we had just gotten through one of the other things. All right. Stun element. Let's do element. Whole point of me using that particular attack is to burn the enemies. this because I have been using that a little bit more all right and now I could max out one of my my skills or one of my runic attacks Question is, which one do I want? This wouldn't be so bad to have maxed out. It adds a little bit of stun to that, which is kind of nice. Um, I mean, really, all of these would be nice. We're, we're gonna do this one, because this is kind of, like, massive. I, I need to use this attack more, just to, like, open up and, like, fuck things up. This isn't the area for it, because everything's... already covered in frost, but in, uh, in the places that aren't... You know, big differences. If a Hellraiser tries ramming, rampaging your way, try to interrupt their flurry of attacks with a well-timed parry. I mean, I guess. Or you just dodge. Oh, it's stuck. Huh. Feels like we need attacked here. Uh, I guess not now, at the very least. Oh, we gotta go up. Up for it to go down. Well done. Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. Are you sure you want to read it? That can't be. It is. Oh, Mamir. The death of Helgi. Ash to ash, bones to bones. Where love cannot live, death takes hold. Here are the words of Prince Dagger. My spear drips righteous and red from the blood of that cad, King Helgi. My father, in his wisdom, denied him the hand of my sister, Princess Sigrun, knowing his true and dark nature. Enraged by this slight, King Helgi gathered his forces and invaded our land, determined to claim his bride. His murderous soldiers dipped their swords into the hearts of all who opposed their unclean union. Mother, father, all my brothers hunted down and slaughtered, all because he was denied my fair sister. The only male of my line left standing, I impaled the villain Helgi on my spear, did my duty, 
and avenged my family. Well, Jesus! Yeah, that's a pretty serious turn off. Killing her entire family? Maybe not the play, buddy. Jesus. Look, the other half of the vault key. Uh oh. No. Right after we fully upgrade one heavy attack, a new one shows up. And it's got some things I like. A little bit more stun, a little bit more actual damage. And it also doesn't get rid of the axe in my hand, but that's not too big of a, a complaint. Now that we've made the key hole again, we should head back to the treasury. See what <laughs> fortunes await inside. Yeah. Hopefully it's good. But I want treasure. Oh shit. Oh no. Ah, god. Oh, fuck. This is our first time fighting a white as Kratos. Hello? I'm busy. Me too. You too. Okay, fine, I won't grab attack you. Oh, boy. Oh Good. shit, it's blitz! Eesh. Killing a white splits it into wisps, so don't let them uh let that. So don't let up until you finish off the lot of them. Some explosive lightning attacks can be interrupted, others can be parried. Stay alert and note the difference. Okay, alright. all I wanted. I wonder if that can go up and down too. Doubt. Doubt it. Damn it. What am I missing here? I thought we were gonna like end up going all around, but that's not the case. Let me try this. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Maybe, maybe if I cross the gap, there's something I could have looked down and like hit, like an explosive barrel or something. Oh, it's just a sonic arrow thing. I 
musical instrument from your homeland, isn't it? Can you play? Yes. Will you? No. <laughs> uh, liar. A stringed instrument. A liar, to be precise. Kratos says he knows how to play, but refuses to do so. Which means he's either lying, possible, or determined to deprive me of a good time. Also possible. Though, come to think of it, this is probably one of the few surviving artifacts from his homeland. Plucking the liar's strings might well take his mind back to that place. That may well be a journey he's not yet ready to go on. Yeah. Yeah, you know, after everything that's happened, I don't know if Kratos really... ...has gotten over things. Surely he's had plenty of time to have tried a couple of introspective sessions, but you never know. But I wasn't going to say he's gotten over it. It's uh, a lot, a lot happened. Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrun and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrun and I spent with each other. She never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure out of all people, Mimir would have been fine Hearing hearing this stuff. Here's Vault. I'll take whatever you manage to sell it from it, though. Here, are you gonna have some treasures? Ooh, a souvenir from foreign lands? Many souvenirs from foreign lands. We're gonna get attacked again, aren't we? What the fuck? Oh, wait, no, that's a gate. Shit. Well. <laughs> no one here, but I might as well. I see the health there. I'm testing something. Loon's treasury. We can enter the vault now. All right. Yeah, it gave us full health. I think we're already full on Spartan Rage, but I'm not sure. Shit. Traveler? Uh-oh. Oh no. Switching. Oh shit. Ow. What the fuck? What do you mean there are whites here? Don't let him complete his spell. That was a close one. Oh shit! I'm fucking deck 
you, bro. <laughs> My god damn Holy shit Well I was right that was a traveler these travelers prioritize the use of sh shields when it comes to their combat style of choice Makes hitting them quite a bit more difficult than the given surface area would suggest What qualifications are there in order to become a champion in the travelers eyes? I doubt it's as simple as shield proficiency a shield that size in their back is certainly a choice. You might get the better of a traveler, but safe to say you'll never stab one in the back. I mean, you could you could probably try, <laughs> you know. That wasn't that wasn't too bad, oh, no. all things considered. Here sits Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Oh Prince shit! Prince Dogger, that the corpse of Siegfried's brother. How do you end up like that then? Freya, why won't you answer me? Freya, did you kill Sigrun's brother and just didn't tell us? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Aww. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. Oh. I am glad to hear it. Yeah. I'm glad to hear it too. Let's see, Sigrun should be under friend, right? Sigrun, the Valkyrie Queen, was the most lethal opponent of Treus and I faced in our prior adventures. Long ago, she was loved by Mimir, and clearly he remembers her warmly. But her utmost loyalty is to Freya, having aided her in restoring her warrior spirit and recovering her Valkyrie wings. And then rune reads. Nope, lore marker. Love's end. There never was a love as passionate and sordid as the one that took root between fair Princess Sigrun and the foreign King Helgi. Helgi begged for her hand, but Sigrun's father, King Hogni, refused. And so Helgi raised a terrible army and descended upon her land, murdering all who opposed their union. King, queen, princes, all laid dead. All except for Sigrun's brave brother, Prince Dagger. Valiant Dagger took his spear and ran it through the Mad King, Helgi. When the princess discovered her lover dead by her brother's hand, uh, rage blinded her, and she didn't, did inflict a curse on him most foul. But as her vision returned and she saw her entire family dead, she realized her mistake. It was too late. The curse on her brother had taken hold. From the depths of grief came heartbreaking regret, and it overwhelmed her. In penance for her sins, she cast off her riches, title, and throne to dedicate her mind, body, and soul to the mighty Valkyries. A vow she did make to tuck her heart away, for her love was too dangerous. Aww. Look, it was just a misunderstanding. Big, big one. Hold on. What is up here? Oh, just a little chest. Up there. Huh? <laughs> huh? Up where? Freya's fucking with me. Okay, all right, that's good, that's good. Yeah, I think she was just saying up there in reference to me coming up here. Jeez, there's so much gold down here. Another one of Devalim's diagrams. 
You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves. So he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the Allfather found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. All right. Oh, we got another gold. I didn't realize. Frost Rush. While sprinting, press R1 to perform a leaping slash attack. I'll do damage on that one. I was about to say, I don't think I've used this. I haven't used that in any combat. Use this once. At least this system really lets me know, like, kind of what my playstyle centers around. We've almost got this one maxed. I think we almost have this one maxed, too. So that's good. I think this one hasn't been upgraded at all. I've only used this once in combat? Holy shit. Can break an enemy's guard? Oh, damn. I did not read that before. Alright. Let's properly get back on the main story track. I think that's everything in this area. <laughs> you can see Charlie over there. Is that a frost troll? You won't be happy to see us. What? Who the fuck? Hello? <laughs> Why is there just a random troll up there? Fight, VC Hoglorn. Yeah, damn. How do I get to him? Maybe it's one of those get out and he'll jump to me kind of things. Oi! <laughs> Oi! Wake up! Pay attention to me! Give me attention! Fight me, god damn it! Well, this isn't working out. <laughs> Shit. I guess we'll try and follow the compass. Here we go. Strength stacks with Spartan Rage? You never know, though. We got him low enough for the finisher. Ah, damn, the same fish from the last game, I think. 
Vissy Haggle Hagglecorn. A troll we encountered in Midgard. The winds carried its stench so far I could smell it long before I saw it. Fighting these beasts in the dead of winter is one of the few ways to keep warm without a fire. I appreciate this. However, we might run out of trolls. I do kind of feel bad for hunting it down. But it was a danger to these lands. Jotunheim's our honor. This one wasn't too bad. Oh, we can get we can get something. Uh Oh, I didn't realize there's a perk cost. Like we we're good on everything, but I didn't know. I guess this could have been another way up? Because obviously this isn't where we left our wolves. Wait! Drift! Drift! Please, thank you. Give me the barrel. All right, I'm pretty sure we got to go this way for the main mission. Obviously, the wolves will point their heads in the direction we're supposed to be going. Well, we were kind of avoiding this area already. Okay, not this way. And those things are, we're going to finally get the ability to use that glowing thing and it's going to be 200 money, 200 hack silver. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. Yeah, I get it. We're in the right place. We're getting close. Quiet. The eternal campfire. Fucking what? That looks cool. What? Whoa. An abandoned camp. Whoever was here left long ago. Huh. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Across from... Oh, we've seen that heart on the cover, though. Shit. I only remember one, and that was in Alfheim, I think. Find the recipe's ingredients. The recipe calls for something called a prong fruit from Sfrotelheim. I wish to see this strangely named fruit. Uh, this recipe mentions a bantam melon that grows in a crater in Vanaheim. I can collect if we find ourselves there. The recipe calls for an elven cap from Alfheim. I do not care much for fungi, but I wish to remain true to the recipe. The recipe requires a Nordic gourd from Midgard. Perhaps it is somewhere near the camp? Okay. I mean, we get XP for it, but I'm not going to hunt that down super hardcore right now. We're just going to look for the gourd, because it said it might be around the camp area. But this is cool. I like this little effect. I'm not seeing any immediate interactables here. Oh. 
Do they match the ones in that recipe book you found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. Yeah, okay, here we go. Ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Somar. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the others if you're curious. Yeah, we can do that. Thankfully, we only have to really find three. I don't remember the exact areas. Four things for that. That's just gonna be something that I do. I Google to find Wait. everything. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. So far, it's not looking so good, buddy. King's Grave. That's dramatic, and that almost looks a little familiar. Oh boy. <laughs> 